all right let's talk about this let's get right into it all right everyone all right let's settle in okay let's let's do this all right because we got some uh we got some bad news for the people on parlor and i'm very very sorry about this um but this isn't good news for any for, for anyone who's been on parlor but it is funny as fuck okay so first we're gonna watch a little thing first okay we're gonna watch a little clip here i got a clip for us okay this is uh dan bongino the parlor guy and he's real mad on Fox News. So we're gonna listen to this first, and then we're gonna talk about the rest. Yeah, if you had a parlor, your personal info is definitely compromised, and I uh, feel bad for you. All right, let's do this. You understand we were wiped out. Listen to me, America. We were wiped out. I've been texting with Brian all weekend. And what did Brian, what did you say? Every text was like, Apple? Question mark. Yep, Apple. Then Brian would text me, Google too? Yep, Brian, Google. Then he text me next, Amazon too? Yep. That was my answer to him every time. I have not slept all weekend. They've effectively tried to bankrupt me Dude, and my sleep, investors bud. on Parlor. And you know what? They won. You understand? Oh, we won. We won. We won. Dude, get some fucking sleep. They tried to bankrupt his investors in Parlor. Damn, you shouldn't have invested in a fucking Nazi site, dude. Dude, what the fuck? What the fuck were you thinking? What on earth? Holy shit. Let me show you why they're so fucked. And not only are they fucked in that everybody dropped them, but they're double fucked. They are so double fucked. It is unbelievable how fucked they are. Are you ready? Let's take a look. Pay, uh, pay attention. This is going to get a little technical. All right. They're triple fucked Oreos. Watch this shit. Here is a description of what went down according to someone with far greater technical knowledge than me. So a group of developers latched onto that press release that Twilio put out at midnight last night. In that press release, Twilio accidentally revealed which services Parler was using. Turns out it was using all of the security authentications that were used to register a user. This allowed anyone to create a user and not have to verify an email address and immediately have a logged on account. Okay? Well, because of that access, it gave them access to the behind the login box API that is used to deliver content all content parlay parleys video images user profile user information but what it also did was revealed which users had administration rights and moderation rights well when that happened those user accounts that had administration rights to the entire platform well the hackers internet warriors whatever you want to were able to use the forgot password link to change the password why i don't believe it has Twilio never put out a, uh, a press release. Is this for real? If you have a th if you have a uh, a a counter evidence, then show me. I don't think I I am as far as I know this is legitimate. I've seen multiple people reporting this. So if it is actually fake news, then get me a link to the opposite, and we'll correct it right now. Anyway. The hackers, internet warriors. Why? Because Twilio was no longer authenticating. Um, emails this meant they'd get directly to the reset password screen of the uh, that administration user this group of internet warriors then used that account to create a handful of other administration accounts and then created a script that ended up creating millions of fake administration accounts now that they had a way of creating admin accounts without interruption, they created a Docker image, basically a virtual machine called a warrior that anyone could download and when fired up would immediately start collecting data off of Parler in a coordinated fashion. Consider it like SETI that people used to use to load up as screensavers when their computers were not being used. Same concept, crowdsourcing. All of this data, the videos, the images, the posts, the metadata, including geolocation of all images and videos, and the connections to the accounts that post it has been, since midnight, being uploaded to various cloud drives and storage arrays for the purposes of archiving this information. For later retrieval by law enforcement, by the public, or by open source intelligence communities. And the kicker is this. All of this information was thought to be secure and private by individuals who were making the post. A significant number of those individuals went through the process of being a verified citizen on Parler. What does that mean? It means they uploaded a picture of the front and back of their real state driver's license. Let that sink in for a second. I am positive the FBI has been actively soaking in this information along with the internet warriors, but this is how they are going to officially track us down, track people down. 
It is how the FBI, DHS, and FAA have been able to immediately and exhaustively create no-fly lists. Every verified attendee of the Capitol riot where they can find a real name has been placed on no-fly lists. It might seem like a small geeky glitch or hack, but in the age of information warfare, this is the silver bullet for people who used Parler as a place to organize their efforts. Also, a lot of the posts that were deleted by Parler members after the riots on the 6th turned out Parler didn't actually delete them. They just said it as deleted. Guess what has access to all deleted content? Administrator accounts. This is the only article about Parler hacks, and it was from November, okay? This happened today. As far as I understand, this happened today. Let's see. Let's find out if there's more information about it. Let's see. Let's find out. I think I have another post on this. Let's take a look. I believe I have another post on this. Let's take a look. Is this the same one? Yes, this looks like it's the same one. Let's take a look. Oh, not finding anything. Public unsecured APIs. Let's take a look. All right, let's see. Parlor Watch. PSA, the heavily upvoted descript description of the Parlor hack is totally inaccurate. This inaccurate description of the Parlor hack was posted here eight hours ago and has currently received nearly a thousand upvotes and numerous reward. Unfortunately, it's a completely inaccurate description of what went down. The post is confusing all the various security issues and mis mixing them up in a wrong way. The security researcher in question has confirmed the description linked above was BS. Let's find out. TLDR, the data was all publicly accessible files downloaded through an unsecured public API by the archive team. There's no evidence at all that some were able to create administrator accounts or download the database. Rawling has the correct explanation here. Upvote this post and send the awards to him instead. It's actually quite disheartening to see false information. Um, I've seen the same at TD Parlor, but we have to be better than that. Misinformation is dangerous. Okay, fair enough. So let's find out. Since a lot of people begin uh, seem to be confused about this detail, and there's a lot of bullshit Reddit posts going around. The only things that were available publicly via the web were archived. I don't have I don't have email addresses, phone, or credit card numbers unless you post it yourself on Parlor. Hmm. From the Twitter user in the image in a combinator post, it seems mostly dumb parlor endpoints that let you put in an integer and it will turn it into a post or image rather than making you know the random ID. This Twitter user listing all content outs using these, creating skips, scripts to get it archived before it went down. Stuff around two-factor authentication going down seems mostly another Twitter account pointing out that since two-factor and email verification are down, anyone create an account and spam parlor. Original Twitter user creating a script to automate creating accounts. No suggestion that these services being down has allowed accounts to be compromised. Stuff around admin accounts seems mostly this Twitter user decompiling the app to see what admin UI looks like and how it tells if the user is an admin or not. Dumb parlor user endpoint gives you that information for any user, not just yourself. This Twitter user listed the first few hundred admin accounts on GitHub, but no suggestion they've been compromised. Maybe account compromise happened, but it doesn't seem to have been reported by the Twitter user in OP's image. Huh. Yeah, this feels like damage control posts. Huh. Regardless, yeah. Regardless, the archiving alone is going to be severely fuckery. Absolutely severe fuckery. Jesus Christ. Gab shit talked porn today? Wait, really? Huh. Hmm. I don't know. Free speech, my ass. Yeah, on their Twitter, and they lock the post. APIs are just as crazy, though. Like the sure. most basic security failures you can imagine. Good on you for correcting the post. But I mean, like fucking hell. Images with original metadata were available via an insecure endpoint with sequential IDs with no rate limiting. The bots they wrote could literally start from zero and then stop once the sequential ID of images always returned 404s. Metadata, yeah. Security on some endpoints was literally non-existent and easily bypassed other endpoints. 
Even worse, this all happened publicly on Twitter over the last 48 hours and no parlor devs have responded or shut down the endpoints. They basically gave all their data away. It seems like all data from parlor, including videos, will be available in the next few days. Holy shit. Holy fuck. So that is that is that is people replying to this even with regard whole even with regard to the corrections 56.69 terabytes It's 56.69 terabytes have been gathered so far and you that is available Yeah, that's all they, that's what they've got so far That's from archive.org. Absolutely beyond belief. When I click gab.com on its Twitter page, it just logs me into some random idiot's account? What? Nine plus eight pay tree cute. What the hell is this? This is August Samoyed Core, and when I click Gab's Twitter URL, it logs me into a random account. This is confirmed. They took it down. Holy shit. You can perform actions as the logged in user like actually. Yeah, I've seen people on other accounts go so far as change things like display name. Oh my god. Let's look at the comments. Holy fucking shit. This is wild. Who else got deplorable saltine? No, it's it's gone down now, Busy B. <laughs> <laughs> what? What the fuck? This image is so stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? What? <laughs> this website is wild. I've changed my mind. Gab rules now. <laughs> this one? Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Turning on my VPN for unrelated reasons. Gab is now under maintenance. What happened? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh wow, yes it does. Multiple people got Kathy Jean Bean, looks like. It's Tud. I got this one too. Fuck, I was logged into what seemed to be some spicy meat in account and reloaded instead of posting and it stopped working for fuck's sake biggest regret of my life top five for sure holy shit dog ass lols ayo who listens to the baby that's meatball meatball strikes again you're the q now dog multiple people got flicking my bean i don't know who this is s alf 87 the baby it didn't work until i vpn to the usa i see someone already made a post how are the rights so bad at cybersecurity? look at this shit oh my god oh my fucking god oh no everyone's getting in holy shit i stud Parlor was worse. Yeah. Well, I mean, we don't have we don't have a final st statement on what happened with Parlor, but it's looking really bad. It's looking really fucking bad. They can't have patched it by now, but it's not working. I think they fixed it. That was two hours ago. Holy shit. We're sorry, but something went wrong on our end. Missed my chance to post the entire B movie script. Holy fuck. What a wild ride this week has been. Has it not? Has it not been an incredibly wild ride?